Batters up, boys. Too dark in this game, and this flashlight real sucks. I should really invest in a better flashlight. That would be like the supreme upgrade. A flashlight, but it actually works. Everywhere I go, doors are always locked. Zombies spawning everywhere, and it is so annoying. It did, man. Just let me pick up all this real quick. Sorry. It's not that you aren't important. I just need workable metal. Casey wants us to uh, look into his squad mates that were in the reserve with him. And we got to go to some gym. Unfortunately, if you noticed, when I shoot, you can't see down the sights when I aim. And that's because on Steam, I have the viewer where it's like right eye dominant. So you actually get to see basically almost out of my right eye. This, however, I'm just using uh, the screen that pops up when you play the game. So, unfortunately... You can't see out of my eyeball and see all those amazing shots or amazing misses if I'm missing. Every day I'm hustling, 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 hustling. Oh, and if you missed it in the last video, we're going all violence this time. I'm not bothering with all this sneaking around, worrying about moral issues with murdering people that I don't necessarily have justification in murdering. Holy poop, what are you doing? Chill. So, yeah, we're going in guns blazing from now on. We see people we don't like, we shoot them. The end. We might as well throw a party. Well, you're already dancing like we throwing a party, bro. Got the moves. I'm digging it. Cool, simple. Chill. Reserved. Am I recording? Okay, dokie, good. <gasps> but it's not recording the audio. Son of a... Biatch. Test, test, one, two, three, all right, back at it. Let us continue on with our lives like nothing happened. Like I didn't just waste time walking through this game without recording the audio because my audio was synced up to the speakers and not the Oculus headset. Because I was listening to my previous recording to make sure that nothing went wrong or that everything sounded good and dandy. I'll probably leave in the little dancing guy. That might have been kind of funny. Didn't really need much sound for that. <laughs> Come on, homegirl. Come on, yeah! I really like this thing. Come at me if you want, zombie, but I'm getting out of your reach in no time. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, dead by daylight. Uh, uh, has nothing on me, bro. Nothing. Uh, uh, yeah, can you do this, dead by daylight, huh? Huh? Oh. Probably. You probably defy gravity. Uh. Oh. 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 Alright, check. Triple check. Yep, audio's on this time. Recording both my voice and sound. Yeah, you guys have fun doing whatever you're doing. Oh, whoa, let's not do that. And then the Kenneth. The Kenneth guy is the guy that this guy actually likes. The other three he claims did something really evil and that him and Kenneth didn't like it. But we'll find everybody. Even if it takes all video long, let me get a drink real quick. Oh, that's nasty looking. Never mind, I'll just die of dehydration. All right, you're probably one of them, I assume. Casey, with the goddamn whining. I'm about to put my fist through his teeth. We did what we had to do. Live with it. End the story. We had to protect what was rightfully ours. This bunker is our home. The supplies are our lifeline. If we did not defend it, we'd have all been dead within two weeks. Now we can last months, maybe longer. We can survive this. A brutal decision was made, but we have to fucking stand by it, unified. If Kenny and Casey don't fall in line soon, I have no problem marching them out of the bunker door with a gun to the back of their heads. Alright, you sound like an evil turd. Glad you're dead. Great, so we're gonna have to go downstairs. And there's probably gonna be tons of zombies down there. Yep. Man, this flashlight sucks. Actually, maybe it'd be better if I did bring you all to me. Yeah, come here. Come here. Come on, guys. All you get coming over. Let's have some fun. Come 
Come on. Dang it, I hate you guys. Batters up, boys. Good thing you all leave letters so I know who you are. Wasn't about to let those bastards steal all our shit. It's dog eat fucking dog now, and I'm the mama pit bull. Foster and Trin understand what's bull. up. When you go through something like that together, something that ugly but necessary, you develop a bond to the group, no doubt. Not necessary. The other two, it's never necessary to do They don't get quest. it. Casey acting like he's innocent. Bunch of bullshit. And Kenny with his moral high horse routine, not gonna put up with him much longer. I'm watching. They so much as blow a fucking fart in my direction, I'll put their asses down. Zero hesitation. Only the ruthless will survive this shit. No, nope, not true. Not true. Because even if you're not ruthless and you're not a violent man, I am! And I'll gladly kill people like you to protect the more decent folk. Like, why am I carrying this with me? Freaking one dollar flashlight from Walmart is better than this thing. It's only redeeming quality is the freaking shake weight thing. Come on! Come on! Ugh. Oh, there we go. Let's keep my distance. This is not the best weapon. Oh, that's no good. I'm nearly dead. Oh, come off it. Get a little closer, man. I just need one of these nails to touch your brain and you instantly die. Yeah. Okay, too many notifications. Don't care about how much calories I'm burning. Right. Well, you're somebody, but I guess you're nobody important. Uh, zombie, really? I'm just trying to take my medicine here. Ah, so satisfying. Too dark in this game, and this flashlight real sucks. I should really invest in a better flashlight. That would be like the supreme upgrade. A flashlight, but it actually works. Alright, man. Found Jess, found Foster. Trent? <laughs> Where are you? You look fresh. You look alive. Oh, shiitake mushrooms. <gasps> Dang, why are there so many of you coming now? Right, they look like military folk. So far, they all look like military folk. Bro, you look alive. You're in the poop out of me again. Oh. Come on, you're gonna be in a stall. I'm calling it. You'll be dead on a frickin' pooper. Dang it! Alright, well, I think it is time to go. I don't think we're finding Chase, and there are way too many freaking zombies in there now. And I'm dying. Yeah, get it, you sick. We need to go home. Get my knife out. I don't want this thing breaking on me while I'm getting freaking jumped. This has to be the spot. Are you seriously locked? Ah! Maybe I can go in from that side now that I slaughtered them all. Oh, come on! Really? 
Zombies spawning everywhere, and it is so annoying. <coughs> yeah, I get it. You're not feeling good, man. But that's okay. Can I break this? Come on, zombie! Yeah. Come on! Stop teleporting in here. You guys have to be teleporting in here. There's no way you're wandering in here. Well, this is no good. Now we're having big problems. Time to go to Google. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, 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 where's my flashlight? Yeah. <laughs> Finally. All right, are you one of the dirt bags? Oh yes, I definitely need you, homie. I'm a good person. I know I am. Oh, I saved my cousin Billy that one time from blowing off his fingers. What happened at the bunker, Jess says we did the right thing. Foster says it too, so that means we did the right thing. That's I didn't do anything right wrong. Works, homie. Us or them, and we chose us. I'd do it again, probably. So that means it was right, right? That, that's not how it works. Look. Follow the bloody footprints. What fo Oh. <coughs> how come you can squeeze through the little things, but I can't? That's so annoying. Well, this might be where it ends. This is where the bloody footprints are. What are you going to tell me next? Oh, goodness gracious. Teleporting zombies, absolutely no waypoints. Not a fan! Yeah, please leave me be, man. I don't have enough crap to be killing all of you. And I got freaking brittle metal. This is like what? Made out of flipping aluminum, probably. That's why it's always breaking. This sucks. I'm gonna run out of flipping time. Get swarmed. Oh, you don't look totally dead, man. How are you oh, still alive? I didn't think I'd ever see another human being again. Well, you did, man. Just let me pick up all this real quick. Sorry. It's not that you aren't important. I just need workable metal. I'm stuck here a while. At first, thought I might survive, but I'm not going to make it. It feels like my insides are... Getting eaten by a billion bugs. Was wondering if you could do me two favors. When our chat is through, kill me. The second one is to relay a message named uh, Casey. Can you maybe get him on a radio? Well, we gotta hurry this Frequency up. 61. Say, waterfall. Casey asked me to look for you. He's alive. In the bunker. He wanted to know what happened to you and the rest of the squad. Casey's alive, huh? That's good to hear. Tell him he's a good guy. Tell him Kenneth said things right. Killed Trent, Jess, and then Foster. Okay? I agree, man. You did good. What happened at the bunker? We had orders to keep everyone out of the bunker. But when it got too tense... We, we freaked, we mowed them down. Casey just stood there. Like a ghost. 
that fuck Foster started screaming at him to open fire with the rest of us. Later, I asked Casey if, if he fired. He, he said that he pulled the trigger because he, he was scared that, that, it, that if he didn't, we, we, we'd all turn on him, add his body to the pile. He said he aimed his gun up in the rafters of the church. He begged me not to tell the others. He didn't trust them. My brain is it's, it's, it's getting foggy. I'll tell Casey we spoke. Tell him everything you wanted him to know. That's mighty nice of you, Uncle Tommy. I'd rather just give you some bandages, man, but I don't want to waste a gunshot. No offense, well, better not punch a wall. Straight out and left. Ah! Come on, come on, come on. So many of you guys, so freaking little time. Bro, oh, who's the Zed you just colored? Is that what Ombre looks like? Is she a zombie? How is she drawn if she's a zombie? This is just what you drew, Ombre. Alright, Casey. You there, Casey? I'm back. Hey, tourist. Did you discover anything? All your squad mates are dead. Kenneth killed him. Holy shit. How do you know? I stumbled onto Kenneth. He told me what he did, and why he did it. Kenneth is alive? No. He's dead. But he told me some interesting things before it was over. What did he tell you? He said you're a good guy. Not to feel guilt about what happened outside the bunker. To let the massacre go. He told me all about it. Fine. There was a massacre. Three dozen people, at least. Civilians. Right at the reserve entrance. Innocent people that we should have been protecting. I should have done something to stop it, but I didn't. I stood there. A coward. The whole thing escalated really fast. The first bullet was Foster. I wanted to scream no, but it's like I just left my body. Everything after that moment, it's, it's like a nightmare. Jess and Trent started firing. Jess, she, she, was, she was smiling. Kenneth hesitated. He looked right through me like he expected me to have his back. But I did nothing. So he started firing. After that, all I've been able to retain are weird details. There was this old man, shielding his wife. He had on this bright blue fishing hat, and I watched a flurry of bullets rip it right off in this spray of blood and skull. <laughs> and this fucking hat, I swear to God, it's the exact same hat my uncle used to wear. And the bullets drove it into the wall, and, and it... It, it hung there, for a second, dripping. And then it flopped onto the floor. The image, I just, I, I can't get it out of my head. I'm worried it'll be there forever. And I keep thinking, was it me? Did I shoot those bullets? Probably did, that's probably why you remember it. Oh, bro, that would be horrible. Best to assume the worst, Casey. That's exactly right, Tourist. And I can't fucking deal with that. You should feel guilt. Because you should have you should have turned on your own men, man. But you need to focus on moving forward, repenting. Best you can, every chance you get, in the hopes. Not the expectation, but the hope that uh that guilt will go away. Uh, I don't like any of these answers, but I already tried picking this answer and it went way too into the drilling him down kind of bit. And I kind of want to bring him back up. He seems like a man that wants to repent, so let's repent. It is your fault. You didn't do anything to help these people. But I want you to move on from this and focus on repenting. What happened outside the bunker? It's not your fault. That is clear to me. It was clear to Kenneth. You need to find a way to make it clear to yourself. Yeah, I know. Hey, maybe when this is all over, I can hire you to be my therapist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you might be my only homie in this world, so and homies are the best therapists. I charge 300 bucks an hour. Don't think you can afford that on National Guard money. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Doubtful I'm getting out of here alive. 
without that key that has everyone riled up? This is all a waste of time. I'll talk to you later, I guess. Talk to you later, man. Ah, we're gonna call it quits there. That was a long one for me. Man searching for those stupid bodies without no waypoints. Bam. Took a while. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. As always, have fun, be well, and do good. I am Red Wolf, and this is my story. <laughs>